Yep, everything's good. All right. <clears throat> Wrong windows open. <laughs> I'm in the wrong work with the problems. All right. I am standing in the wrong place to start this. Do some stretching. Keep your Back up straight. a little bit. Three, two, one. I'm gonna turn them on my headphones. Alternate ring oh, geez, right. To touch the ring con. Be mindful of your body and stretch within the range of your ability. Last time. All right. Good. I got the order wrong. Next is the heel lift stretch. Bring the insides of your ankles toward the ring pond. This stretch can help make your hips more flexible. Last time. Yes, looking great. Ooh. Next is the back straightening stretch. Take a big step forward and drop your hips. Focus on your form when raising your arms. This stretch works your core as well. Let's do one more of each. All right, good. <sighs> Finally, spread your feet. Raise the ring con above your head and lean to the side. As you get comfortable doing the stretch, make sure you're still making large movements. This stretch works your back. Let's do one more of each. Great job. All right. There's that done. Let's go to who's got the button. Okay, we've got volume. Volume of football. Oh boy. Oh, it is come. Lean. What's a lime? What's an A Lamau? train. What do you... Really? You wish to tell me that I completed World 26? Thanks. I completed World 26. Woohoo! Stop. Uh, something I need to check on is, do I have... I only have one. So, let's make... Let's do a warm-up thing for the chest muscles. Oh yeah, there's several things they need to do actually. I remember now. Squee! I remember what I need to do. A couple things they need to do actually. Way to squeeze! One thing I need to do is now I got that done. Is to Swap out my skills. Ah. That's why I swapped it. Well, nuts to that. 
I need to swap that out because I keep forgetting to do so. Okay. He needs some milk. Okay. Okay, before you start running. Before you start running. Consume smoothie. And now we're on. Nice going through all these places again. After so long going through all the dark places, this stuff is actually nice to look at. Oh yeah, this. Put on time spent doing things. I'm not doing my normal workout, so I don't need to keep track of how many calories I'm burning. Make sure I'm on track. I'm here for time, so I don't go much over like a couple out of much over an hour. Because <laughs> I'm nuts. I will do that, especially if I'm streaming. Talk about. Well, well done. More. something I could talk about Nicely is done. the fact that I feel like I'm getting my work Amazing. ethic back. Good job. Sharp. Because for a couple weeks there, okay. I was having problems awesome. working on anything. Great. And now, this week, I have done okay. more video work Excellent. stuff. Ten more. I've done like almost triple the normal amount of video well work done. stuff I normally do. Okay, good. That's dead. So, I've been actually getting work done. Hello, no data. I've actually been getting work done for a, ch for a change. Granted, it's not anything time, the extra work I'm doing is not time sensitive in the slightest, but it's good that I'm actually getting it done still.
No, that's fine. Okay. Shark. There's. I'm not the kind of person where if you're watching a stream of mine, you have to be talking constantly. I'm not like that. Oh, geez. Because I lurk in streams a lot too. Whenever I do watch streams. I do know I've got an issue of being the um actually guy in streams too, so when I do talk, I do pipe up and go get hit you with the um actually content things. So to make sense of it all, no. You can lurk and whatnot while you're working on something else. That doesn't bother me none. The fact you're here, in the first place, is all I care about. That sounds rude. Good job. The fact you're here in the first place makes awesome. me happy. Because I can't keep track of time. Oh, it's dead. Feels great to but, body, right? <laughs> Whew. There are some people who do streaming who. There are a few people who do streaming that are out there, like, who are out there saying, you know, you have to be always active in my stream. If you aren't saying, if you haven't said anything within five minutes of the last thing you said, I'm banning you. I know there's people out there like that, those people suck. Hell, making somebody, having somebody conform to that when, in a real life situation, I don't say much more than a couple sentences at a party, is what I would equate that to. I missed a coin, because it's misaligned. Yeah, forcing people to do Forcing people to speak is not good. And like I said, I'd be a hypocrite if I enforced that on my viewers. And that's, personally speaking, that's something I try to avoid like the plague, is being a hypocrite. Because I grew up surrounded by them. Like, I guess twofold to what I just said. One, if you ever want to see that in action, there is a video out there. It's viral at this point. And oh, it's been spliced into so many other streamers. But there is a video out there of one lady who is doing just chatting streams. And I'm not as flexible as her, but I will attempt to recreate it. Somebody's going to put it out of context. But she's just sitting. I don't have a big enough chair for this. Where she's just sitting... Posted up on her chair like this, just shouting, five dollars, 
All you have to do is give five dollars. Are you that broke? You know, paraphrasing it. That's more or less the person I'm calling out. Secondly, secondly about the hypocrite thing, and if I ever, like I say it a lot and I do mean it, if I ever get to a point where I'm doing stuff, I can probably do my app with guard while I'm doing this. If I ever get to a point where I am comfortable doing this, if I ever get to a point where I start being hypocritical about stuff, I encourage people to call me out. I will get defensive, yes. But I will thank you in the long run for calling me out for anything hypocritical I do. That one. That one right there. Let me slide my finger over to the dark part so you can see it. You are exactly right with that. That is the exact, that is, well, spliced up, but that, that greedy streamer is the exact thing I'm calling out. Is the headphones dry? No, they're still on. The game's just really quiet. Like, what is it? There's a... No, I've seen plenty of those clips, and I think the one that's probably my favorite of that variety is they show the greedy streamer, and then they show a guy, you know. It feels wrong to say it, but that is what they are. If, uh, having a black man, who, uh, compared to a black man who's just literally sitting there doing woodworking in, in a just chatty stream, and he gets alerts that, he's, uh, that he got five gift subs. And he goes to the camera and he says, Doll, you didn't have to do that. Is there a way I can get the money back to you? Just like, just like, you, if you do stream in the future, now, whatever, be like that guy. Where if you get, if you get a sub, whether it's gifts or legit ass subs or whatnot, try and be like that second guy. Be humble about it. I mean, I try to be humble about it. Lord knows I'm probably not. Lord knows I'm probably not being humble enough. Rather, is what I should say. Feels great to move your body, right? Like, I like how I kind of get on these tangents a lot, but like, when you stream, when you stream, you do it, yes, because I would be stupid to, to deny the fact, but when you stream, part of the reason why you stream is that dream of grandeur of, I could make this a job one day. That dream is always off in the distance somewhere. But when you stream, at least I think, you should do it to have a good time. Connect with people on a more personal level. You know, mano a mano. And I'm not talking hands either. Spanish joke. Stop by the shop first, just so I can buy out Honey of all of her clothes once again. Honey, that is also a truth. Uh, well, I mean, change. But I mean, I'm buying you out of your goods. Here's the goal now. I don't know how how uh, feasible it's going to be. But I'm gonna see if I can't buy. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can't start doing this now, where I can't buy honey out of all of her goods, because I keep getting. Oops. Oh, I need a citrine for that. Well, 
I will change into it for the stat ups. Oh wait, ingredients. Do you sell carrots and or onions yet, hubby? No. Okay. Let me sell some... Let me sell some ingredients that I maxed out on. Let me come back down here to this, this end. Because I'm literally sitting on 99 of some stuff. This? Yeah, let's sell some of this. Will it bring in lots of money? No. Will I do it anyway? Yeah. Because why? Because this is no longer healing item. These are no longer worthwhile healing wow. items. Uh, what else do I got 99 of? I got lemon. Would you like some lemon? Wow. This is like pennies I'm giving this guy. Or that we're exchanging right now. Blueberries? I got lots of blueberries. Let's, let's pump some of those back into the economy. I'm a little cautious to sell any gems I might have, simply because if I do, and they, they're going to start asking for those again, then I'm going to be, for lack of a better term, SOL. If you don't know what that acronym stands for, good. If you know what the acronym stands for, don't tell anybody. You know what the acronym stands for? I've been eating too much peanut butter. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. My apologies, it's gross humor. See, like, it's not even really worth selling much of this down here. So yeah, I'm just gonna hold off on it. Anyway, I'm not gonna go back over to this stage. Not, no, game, not that stage, this stage. Oh, this is... Okay, I remember now. This is the last thing we'll want to do in this world. I remember. Because what it was is you went to this stage, and then you went through... You went to the stage, and then you went through... And it was like, oh, we can't do anything, because I don't have the power to make a raft. And then you just went through the rest of the stage. So I'm going to go through the rest of the stage. It's surprising that I remember this, because this, cause this stage was over a year ago. Okay, well, almost a year ago. At this point. Stuff. Smoothies. Consume. Okay, time to rest. And I'm reading over your comments again because I'm kind of trying to pick apart conversations here. But even doing something simple as streaming, like even if you're just even if you're doing just chatting, you know. Just talking to people. You want to do something. You want to do something that... I gotta get that. You want to do or provide something with a stream that gives people a reason to tune in. You just sitting there in a chair, staring off into space, not saying a word. People can do that in their own time. Like, me playing Age of Calamity as I am, or playing Ring Fit on Thursdays for you guys, or probably soon, streaming a whole butt-ton of Met Monster Hunter, that kind of thing, you know, it's minimal, but I'm at least providing something, even if I don't say anything, throughout the stream. Which is why I, we laugh at the greedy streamer because she's literally sitting there doing nothing and expecting money.
switch legs. <sighs> and that's another that's another point I want to make about this. Is again, I am calling myself out that I'm doing barely minimal anything and expecting this something grandiose to come about. Don't worry, I'm well aware of the fact. But like I actively encourage people to join in with me when I do stuff. Anything really. Like I'm doing ring fit here. If you don't have a switch, if you ha if all you have is, is a phone, what I encourage you to do if you're just literally watching on your phone with nothing else to watch it on, I encourage people to prop the phone up and exercise along with me. Consider this a free exercise program. And even then, and even then, I'm not telling you you have to do what I'm doing. Just, With your legs bent I like people to participate in groups, even if something as mundane as this. Okay, let's collect the skill. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like. I don't like going to the streams where. Like, I understand a flood and wall of comments is a problem for a stream. I understand that. You have like 700 people watching you, and they're all just posting ASCII stuff. I understand that. I don't enjoy streams that are, that go into sub-only mode. Just for the sake of not having interaction. Again, I could be a hypocrite in two to three years' time if things happen well. Just, I don't know. I like the interactivity. Okay, let's go. Good for working those upper arms. Well done. Amazing. Well done. Amazing. Man, I like how I started off the stream and it was all about, you know doing my normal weekly ring fit adventure stream for you, with you guys instead of just doing it on my own time. And here I am critiquing the entirety of the internet. <laughs> ah yes, here I am, critiquing the internet. Me, the man who has no notoriety, attacking the internet. This won't go poorly for me at all. Thing that it's, I know it's a weird thing with me personally. I think I've already said it before, but like, I'm kind of a old school work ethics and communication style, where with the fact that I embrace new school teachings. Like 10 years ago, we would not be having this conversation, nor would there be a sub button somewhere over here. Somewhere in this range around me to say, hey, I pledge $5 a month to you until I say otherwise. We would not be having this conversation 10 years ago. So that's kind of where my mentality is, is, is as if this sub button 
wasn't there. Or if though that bit button wasn't there. That's my mentality, is I have time, I have time to burn, and I would like to share it with other people. That's how I treat Twitch. Much like, you know, bad, I gotta catch my breath. I know, I've been, I've been congested the last couple days. Um, but like, I guess it's also partially me being stubborn of, if something works, I make it work until it physically doesn't work, until it physically and it, I guess there's not another, not another word for it. Until something physically cannot work, like me doing ring fit stuff. Say this ring breaks, this ring snaps in half on me. I will probably be stubborn enough to try and duct tape it back together so I can keep doing ring fit stuff until it snaps again. That's just the level of stubbornness I am. Just to paint an example of kind of how I think and do. And how I dooby dooby do. Dooby dooby do wah. Where, and again, on the flip side, you know, the stuff I do on YouTube is, again, you know, kind of a more video-on-demand approach to this exact thing I'm doing on Twitch, but I still do it the same where, here's this thing I think is cool. I would like you to think it's cool, too. Oh, money? Okay, I'll take that. You don't have to, but okay. Also, I've got a ping here. Let me see what's going on with Discord. I get a ping and then I get distracted. Which, I guess I'll continue that thought because I started it and then I jumped over this whole critiquing of other streamers and I'm gonna go back to that topic I started at with my work ethic late, earlier.
work ethic thing I was talking about when I first started stream today. So, as I said before, I'm off of work right now. I'm off of my normal 9 to 5 job. So, I do video work otherwise. So, like, the last couple of weeks, my work ethic has been terrible with that. More or less, I spend... I think I was spending, like, 15 hours a week working on videos. 20 at best. And, of course, you got Twitch here, which takes up, like... I'm going to say 10 to 15 hours in itself, depending on how long I stream some nights. So, like, my work ethic with this stuff has been kind of shot this last two weeks. But... This week, I kind of got in my head and said, okay, under I, it's like, I kind of went in my head and said, head, I understand you're struggling to get a work ethic done considering you don't have your nine to five to go to to keep you on task. But you do have this video thing, you, you do have this content creation thing you're working on that you should probably work on. <laughs> And I should, uh, what is it? I should probably step forward so I don't have to yell so loud. So basically, these last two days, the last three days rather, I've actually put more for, effort, more for, more effort forth into doing more with the video creation stuff than just my normal. Here's my five videos for the week. Chop them up, shoot them out, get done. I've done a little bit more than that this week for a change to kind of equate to like a 40-hour work week finally. I know. I just wanted to say that, as I started saying earlier, that I finally got my work ethic under control. For the lack of for the lack of work ethic I've been having this last two weeks. So. Oh damn it! I forgot again. I got so wrapped up in recording today, I forgot that I was. I'm supposed. To, I've been forgetting this entire week that I've been to call in to get a haircut because my hair is getting long, and it's getting to the point where it is becoming hard to manage like to the point where I'm I am starting to contemplate having to go get hair ties and pull it back not in a ponytail yet but you know if you know you know Oopa. It is, but I'm not a good judge. I know for a fact I'm not a good judge of. I'm not a good judge of distance. So I would take scissors and go into my head, and then I would have a haircut that looks like a 1990s drawing of somebody with spiky hair, and not the good kind anyway. I dream of some examples. I'm a little focused on kicking my own ass in, the, in an exercise game. Quick, let's hurry out of here. <sighs> the Velcro's getting a little loose on this thing recently, and I don't like it. I've got a backup. Thankfully. I gotta back up one of these somewhere around here. Cause I, cause once I 
started dedicating having this game be my dedicated workout I bought re I bought backup and replacement parts just in case make sure it's on there continue They steal money. They stole my money. That's literally the only driving force behind that. Is they literally steal all your money. As it goes, ass to the grass. Lightly cover the IR motion camera. By the way, of your right thumb as shown. if you are joining in on this workout incentive I've invited a few minutes ago, please do not move your if you're going to join me on this, please have water nearby. Please. I can encourage you to work out as much as possible, but if you won't have water nearby so you don't die from exhaustion, I can't help that. As I've said multiple times in the past, do not be, do not be like 2000, oh crap, what year was that again? Do not be like 2018 and prior scooter, where water was the devil, drink soda for all my hydration, and have effectively four meals a day. Don't be that. Oh, and no exercise too. That was a big no-no back then. Like half soda? Yeah. Have soda on the occasion. Have soda on the occasion as a reward or as a... Have soda on the occasion just as a reward for yourself or to give yourself sugar for the week if you need it. Because sugar is necessary in very small amounts, but it is necessary for the human body to function. Ready? Go! But, like I say, don't be like me where all I ate, or all I drank was soda. That is a big no-no. I'm, I'm as morose as it is to say, I would not be surprised if because of my 20 year stint of not drinking water and instead drinking nothing but soda is the reason I die early. I would not be shocked and I would not blame anybody but myself. Got it. Package pulverizer? Mmm, need context for that trophy. Context need citation needed? Just the man. Also, I'm making this. 
Just know I'm a man who's learned from his own mistakes in life, and I want to teach and I want to pass those lessons on along to anybody else I can. Looks tasty. By the way, we're not drinking that immediately. These work like rare those basically work like rare candies. Because I know there's at least one or two people out there that know Pokemon enough to know this. Dragos hungry. Okay, friend. We'll get you as many dr muscle eggs as you can eat. By the way, eggs are delicious. Eggs are good for dieting, too. That's how I lost all my weight. I basically ate nothing but eggs. And salad. <laughs> definitely not... Definitely didn't, like, uh... Definitely well, didn't e eat enough eggs and salad to try and outweigh the 20-plus years a terrible diet I had. Nope, definitely not me. Oh, I missed the crate. Well, it's not the... Uh, it was just materials, if anything, so... Not that bad. Thankfully. Also, if you do hear a lot of thunking when I'm running, that's my door. I may need to tighten the hinges or re screw the hinges on tighter. Yeah, for a while I was, for a long time I was, wake up, two eggs for breakfast, go for a three to four mile run slash jog, go to work, have a very light, a very small sandwich for lunch, and then come home and have a salad and or more eggs for dinner. I missed another crate, and I almost missed all the eggs I needed. Go! Drop your hip. Victory! Oh no, that's 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 my purpose. That's intentional. That's the intentional design of it. So. What that timer? It, classy. Um, what that timer signifies over there is actual time working out. That's not the amount of time I spent in the game. Cause you know, if that game, if that gauge just counted how much time, excuse me, <clears throat> if that gauge counted how much time I had been in this adventure mode, just standing here talking like this. That timer would be close to how long I've been streaming, but I've burned almost no calories. So it counts how long I've actually been moving and doing exercise. So that's why I say when that timer reaches, when that timer reaches close to an hour, that's about when I should stop. Usually what that equates to is, doubt, is the stream time somewhere around here, somewhere in this area, Whatever that time says, usually hits about two, two and a half hours by the time that timer over there hits an hour. Just because I stop to ramble and also take small breaks to recatch my breath. And it's, I don't know, it could just be me talking because I am probably like, I'm probably like one of the one of the, one of the people who is probably the biggest advocate for this game of why you should play this game. Or what's the word I want to use? Not sponsors of the game, because the game would sponsor me if anything. 
I feel like. Basically, for what the game has done for me in my life, I am the one who will shout out this game. Patron. Yeah, I'd be, I'm like a big patron for this game. Like, I'm the one that would say, use this game. Use this game, use this game, use this game. I wouldn't be as much of a fan of being a user for this game if it cut corners on exercise. I missed one because it didn't jump. Go me! Go team me. I okay. failed spectacularly. And all I got for it was this dopey shirt. I don't know if it's because I've just been dealing with allergies, like, because there's still frozen snow, there's still snow on the ground outside. But I think it's finally starting to get warm enough where some of the plant life is starting to come back. And I think some of the pollen with that is starting to bloom back into the air. But I think I've been dealing with, like, the first wave of allergy season. But up until now, I have been, I have been uh, not taking my allergy pill because... Why do I need to take my allergy pill when I'm not going anywhere and all the plants outside are dead? You made it. Thus, no pollen flowing through the air. But I think, I think now, a lot of, uh, I think now some of the plant life is starting to come back into bloom. So pollen flowing through the air, and I and I have been congested for a couple days, so. Trust me, this all will all make sense in a minute once I stop talking in circles. The, uh, so I'm thinking the allergies, the allergies are starting to, are starting up now, like minutely, but they are here. So I've taken the steps. I've, I finally took my allergy pill today for the first time in like three weeks to combat any pollen out there. And I felt way better today than the last two weeks. And I think may have been initiated my whole want to actually get some work done for a change because instead of feeling like absolute crap congestion included or excluded like i've actually for a change felt like actually wanting to do something and actually have been more talkative because i don't feel like i'm exhausted from lack of oxygen because my airways have decided to close up because of the non-existent pollen or i guess now existing pollen
I think that's, that's kind of a follow-up on that I should bring out is if you're watching, if you don't have to deal with, with, with allergies in any regard, consider yourself really lucky. Like, yeah, you know, all of us have allergy problems. We'll complain about it for obvious reasons. But there are some days where if we can't combat the pollen, Good even ass. with any minute thing to help with that, we're basically receiving about half the oxygen we're used to, and we're exhausted because we don't have enough oxygen to make our bodies function. Like, the closest approximation I can give you to what that feels like is having somebody constantly having their hand around your throat choking you but they don't have the hand strength to actually fully cut off your airway that's what it's like having allergies without a way to come at it not a lot of pain it's just the uncomfortable feeling of it's just the uncomfortable and unfortunate feeling of man I could breathe so much better right now if half my airway wasn't blocked up by forgive me for being disgusting if my half my airway wasn't being blocked up by phlegm because my body my body thinks flowers are a threat to my existence or if we want to go hot button it's okay. coronavirus light. <laughs> Except you never grow out of it. Or get over it. No, I don't want but I don't want followers bot. Oh shoot. See, this man knows what's up. No, no, no data gets the vibe. Get the van hammer off. Get the bot out of here. Um, oh yeah, I was doing this. It's gonna recalibrate. Oh my god. Are we done now? Bots, are we are we done now? Are we are we good? Do do I need to stop for a minute, bots, if you want to try and promote something that isn't gonna happen at all? One more time? I mean, I'm cool to wait a minute. Okay. We're all squared away now, bots. We're good. Can I go back to exercising and entertaining the people now? Okay. So yeah, um, yeah, as I was saying, you know, haha, <laughs> making light of a serious thing. Chronic asthma, or I guess having asthma, is like coronavirus light. And instead of being sick for two weeks and getting over it, or getting a vaccine and getting over it, it's just there with you for life. And you just have days where you can't function normally. I think I know what I'm, you know what, I just thought about it. I think I, I think I know what I want to make my next emote. Very nice. Fantastic. Okay. I'm not going to spoil it, okay. 
but I might go running off for a commission or maybe invest the time myself and make a sprite and make a sprite version of it on my own time. But I think I know what I want to do for my next email finally after sitting on this one for o for over three years now. Well, two years. No spoilerinos, because I want it to be a surprise. I want it to be soup and rice. Soup and rice. There we go. I've told the story on stream before, but I'm repeating it just for the few that may not have heard initially. Also, my sound died again. I've been playing complete silence for the last few minutes. Fine, disconnect it. Now what? Anyway. So I've told the story in the past. But growing up, this is my experience with asthma, and this is why I always talk about it in great detail, because for those that never have to deal with it, I want you to know kind of what it's like to grow up with asthma. It's not as much of an issue as it is for some other major diseases in the world, but I still tell the story to educate. So, when I was younger, my child years will say, basically all the way up until I was about 12 or 13, Every year, and I mean every year, every year, middle winter, I would come down with a case of bronchitis. Bronchitis is, is, it perfectly portrays what coronavirus is now. You can't breathe, your ARA refuses to let loose to let you breathe, and you are slowly dying out because you can't get enough oxygen. I ha when I was growing up, I had that every single year and it usually happened during the worst snowstorm of that year much to my mother's delight sarcasm and even though i no longer have bouts with bronchitis i still have the issue of not being able to breathe some days because the plants the plants want to go explore the world But yeah, I do tell that story because I always want people to know because like it's the one thing I've got that I can say, hey, this is something I'm an expert on. Here's the story so you know what it's like to have it. And like I said, it's not a major, it's not for a lot of people, it's not a major issue anymore because asthma is very much a controlled illness that we have a handle on. Much like things like but you have like a handle on things like psoriasis and things of that sort. It's a disease we have a handle on, so we don't have to spend oodles of resources handling it further. Yeah, you are. Ooh. Yeah, you're going to get bombarded. We're all going to get bombarded. <coughs> I 
but most of them are gonna be clickbait too. Something along the lines of, let me think here. Something along the lines of super spicy Pyra and Mithra on Smash Brother gameplay. You know, something that doesn't cross the line, but if you're an impressionable person, if you're an impressionable person with a libido, we'll say, with an active libido, you might click on it. Or the, uh, or the more accurate approach that you've put there. Listen, man. I've been in the YouTube game okay, for 12 years. As of coming up in, coming up, uh, Yay! yeah, coming up this April. I'll be, I've been in the YouTube game for 12 years. I know what titles people type up. Let's check this really quick. Man, my hurry does not feel that slow, but what can you do? All right. So, we're gonna go back around the other way. I could say my piece on that, but I'm minorly guilty of that myself, but not so much with DLC of a game or anything like that, but more or less if I guess DLC of a game to an extent, Breath of the Wild, ha ha ha. Um, but with, you know, that Think Fast series I do on YouTube. Like, sure, not every game I play on it came out two days ago. But when the new hot game comes out, you know, I'm if I want it, you know, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to record a, one video for it, at least. Like I've said before, I'm not innocent. I'm not innocent of this type of stuff. I just avoid trying to be a hypocrite. In fact, I'm pretty sure when, for Breath of the Wild, when subsequent DLC came out for that game that I had already bought at that point, when subsequent DLC came out for Breath of the Wild, here, there was me, nearly frame one, sitting in front of my computer, you know, playing through the DLC so I understood it, and then the next day, recording the DLC all the way through it, and then the day after that, uploading my videos on what I recorded. Thankfully, I'm not like that with most games I do. Because... Only after about, I mean, if somebody occasionally does something like that, fine, whatever. No skin off my back. Maybe they, maybe they like the game that much and they're just trying to promote it more because they are really passionate about it. Whatever. If somebody is doing that, denying themselves sleep and basic human needs to be the first person to get a video out on a new game or new DLC... I started having a problem with it. If it's to the point so bad that they're uploading one newly released game series and then they are and then halfway through that, they're they're uh, within the same hour starting up a new walkthrough or something on it on the new hot game while they're not even done with the last hot game they were working on, then I have a little bit of a problem with that. It's like I understand you're here for views. I understand that also understand that you're taking up people's time 
that could be playing the game that you're passionate about, taking up their time away from them playing the game as well, did not, and by doing that, deny money from the game creators, and when you deny money from the game creators, they can't make another game. And when they can't make another game, well, the thing you were passionate about just gets dried up. Like, what is it? Well, to your, to your end there, no data, as you're saying. So, I was a lot more hard-pressed about recording side products than I am currently. And that might change in the next couple weeks here. Or the next few days here, because I'm, I'm kind of getting my gusto back. But, um, like for a while there, when I was recording stuff, and even side series and stuff, well, spe well especially side series and stuff, because... Almost every side series I've worked on, I've recorded like two years prior. But, more recently, like, like in the past, like if it was a side project, you know, I would sit down and record that entire project in a day, because I know I'm going to get it all done, and then I'm going to upload it all, and have that last for a year on Sundays. So I can just focus on five five videos a week during the weekdays. Same goes for the Things Fast series. Although that was not recorded as far in advance. But now, you know, I've listened to my body a bit more. Like, like yesterday, I recorded about an hour, hour and a half of the side series I'm currently working on. And then I, instead of pushing it, I actually told myself to stop recording. Turn everything off. And then when I stopped that, my body went, man, you are tired. Just go take a nap. I went and took a nap. Something I wouldn't normally do if I was pushing through in a side series in the past. Like in the past, if I had a side series I was working on, it would be up, recording at 10 o'clock, finish it by 6 o'clock, and then be done, and then, you know, mentally punch off for the day otherwise. What I'm trying to say is I'm listening to my body more and treating it better than I was five years ago. sound again. You guys have sound. I don't. Actually, even better example I can give of all of that. So, four years ago. By the way, happy fourth birthday to the Nintendo Switch. Four years ago, when Breath of the Wild came out, I spent every waking moment playing that game. To prepare myself for a walkthrough, because I wanted to do it. Then, when about three months came up, it came and went, I gave myself a week off from playing it, and then I booted it right back up, and I played through the entirety of Breath of the Wild, and basically had that entire video series done. I mean, recorded, rendered, uploaded, done in about a month and a half's time.
I still ate, but I barely slept, and I barely did, took care of my other responsibilities. And that is a big no-no. So I think it's was 112, 113 parts. Good job. I want to say, Keep excluding up. DLC and subsequent, you know, well free done. DLC add-ons for the game, I'm pretty sure my Breath of the Wild nice. Let's Play Amazing. was 112 parts divided by five. Yeah. Boil down to oh, why can't okay. I can't imagine. 22, 23 weeks. I basically did 23 weeks worth of content over the span of a month. And I mean, hell, I drank it in. You know. Well, what is it? 20 ish weeks where I didn't have to do a damn thing after busting my ass? I took that as a vacation. Sort of. Okay. Nice. Fantastic. Keep it up. Fantastic. Oh, hold on, my shoulders are killing me. Perfect. But since I had done that in current, like after I did that. Not anything else before that, sadly enough, but after ever since I did that, you know, I stopped, I stopped trying to record literal, literal months of content in advance, because it disconnected me from my, from my viewer base so hard. Like, yeah, I don't have to work on videos at all, because I did all my video work, but... Now, if, like, I've got a part 110 uploading, but Diego Sanchez 372 comments says on uh, part 20 and, sa and says, Hey, what happened here? Why didn't this work here? Or something like that. I couldn't tell him without going back and watching the video over. So I avoid recording in bulk uh, to that degree anymore because I don't want that disconnect from people. I mean, I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. Probably too late, but I learned my lesson. He does a big steppy. He does the biggest steppy. Set this down. All right. Okay, let's move. Challenge yourself by keeping your feet off the ground. Yes! Yes! Fantastic! Well done! 
Ooh. Man, that's killing me right now. Okay. Come I'll on. Me. Right off. You made it. Stand up. No need to rush, though. <sighs> so, something I should mention while well, I catch my breath a little bit here. Something I would like to mention is this is something that's just word of mouth, but uh, apparently, because you know, Pyramithra stuff up there was just mentioned earlier. Apparently the competitive smash scene is trying to find ways to keeps trying to find ways to ban DLC. Uh, for Pyra and Mithra, they're trying to ban specific colors of DLC for uh, for them. Namely, namely the player two alt, which is Numa, Neuma, is either Numa or Neuma. And it's either three or five, where Pyramithra's color, uh, primary color aspect of them, they're, they're, they're vibrant red and bright yellow, you know, the palette swap one. They're trying to ban those two colors because their, their defense is, it's not obvious which one is which. And again, I don't know if this is if this is a factual thing, or if somebody was just stirring up uh, stuff or stirring up crap on Discord earlier. But apparently, that's currently what's going on with Pyramithra. People are trying to ban alternate colors for them simply because they can't look down at the player icon, or tr or when they're trying to be watching their opponent in a match anyway, watch their opponent close enough to tell if they have long or short hair. Okay, let's move. I just gotta laugh at that kind of stuff. Because it's just like, how? Great. Right. Well done. But. Perfect. And forgive me. Right. Not, and forgive me for generalizing, because not all Smash players are like this, and not all competitive Smash yes. players are like this. Yes. But. Excellent. They okay. seem to be trying to find reasons to ban a character Good just job. so they don't have to learn a matchup or learn the new character. Like, I'm surprised there wasn't any talk of banning Sephiroth, oddly enough. But they tried to ban Hero because of the, because of his spell menu and crits. I think they wanted to try. I think there was one point they tried to ban Min Min because Min Min has too much range. So, kind of fits in the, in, in the fold of Smash players trying to ban colors on a character that is otherwise perfectly balanced because they don't want to learn it. But then again, this is the same crowd of people that have problems finding a bar of soap in the shower. Yes, I'm still pulling on that, I'm still harping on that old joke that's probably dead and gone right now.
one second. Rush? No, no rush. Okay, anyway. The joke is, well, it's a joke, but the actual thing that happened was, for the longest time, Melee had a terrible rap in the competitive community, in the fighting game community, because Melee players would refuse to shower or even as a very quick adjustment to the fact they couldn't shower, put on deodorant to mask it as best as possible. And we're not talking, oh, they take, they take a shower today. Okay, whatever, you were, you were running late. No, five days without a shower. Like it got so bad to a point with the melee community that TOs, uh, tournament officials had to post an official rule as a blanket statement on any Smash Brothers event that if you did not show up with good hygiene, you were not allowed to into or uh, you were not allowed into uh, to enter the tournament nor enter the building the tournament's being held in until you until you uh, show that you have taken the steps for proper hygiene. Yeah, my uh, before it shut down, my local card shop that I that I went to for the uh, Pokemon TCG pre-releases that I used to go to all the time. Um, there was a there we go. There was a there was a rule stated there as well that if you showed up with poor hygiene, you were not allowed to compete in the pre-release tournament or any card tournaments from there at that point. Posted on the on the shop where you bought the cards, and posted in the play area next to the shop. All right, uh, it's back here. And if you think I'm blowing, like, and I want to say, because if anybody comes in on a bot and says, oh, you're just blowing smoke to make yourself sound better or make, or make something sound worse, I would like you to keep in mind that at a fighting game championship, uh, not Evo, God, I can't remember the acronym for it. It's a big one where, it's a big one where they take their fights to an actual, like, boxing ring for it, where... Um, Hungrybox had won the grand finals for it, and a fan had not only gotten into the venue with a with a crab in his pocket, probably dead at this point, but not only had gotten to the venue with a crab in his pocket, but was able to stand at the venue for several hours and then throw said crab at Hungrybox, and no one detected the smell of the crab over the bad hygiene of the crowd, supposedly. Nobody caught that because nobody showered when they went to these events for days on end. So there is video footage out there of places smelling so bad that it kept that people that the people there smelled worse than decomposing seafood. Like I said, if you don't think that's true, you the video's out there. Go look it up. Hungry Box got a crab, live or dead, don't, not sure on that part, got a crab thrown at him on stage when he won Grand Finals. This was like two, three or four years ago now. Like just as Ultimate got released or just before Ultimate got released. Now, me as I stand before you right now, I mean, I won't sugarcoat it. As I stand right before you right now, I haven't showered today. Because, for obvious reasons, I'm coming here to do Ring Fit. I'm coming in here, I came in here to string Ring Fit. It doesn't make sense for me to shower 
do ring fit, get sweaty, and then shower again later on. Especially when I don't have to go anywhere or interact with anybody. Take my, take my political commentary as, as thorough or as, as thorough or as jokey as you wish to. The documentation's out there to say that I'm not totally in the wrong on this. Okay, let's move. This will work your upper check. Good job. My headphones just disconnected. Oh, I'm gonna end up by slamming those things. For the receiver. So I don't have you guys have sound, but I don't have sound right now. Thankfully, this isn't one where I have to listen for the audio cues to tell me I'm good, I'm okay to stop. But anyway, back up, back along the Smash Brother, Smash Brothers place. But, I mean, and that part, that part varies depending upon the person. Like me, even if I'm sitting still, even if I'm sitting still, doing nothing in this chair right here, if I do nothing for 24 hours and I haven't showered, I shame myself because I haven't cleaned myself for the day. But that's also because I get oily as hell. Why didn't I just say, I sweat a lot. Amazing. Even when doing nothing, I sweat a lot. Awesome. And though you can't see my hair right now, okay. you probably catch glimpses of it when I go to stand up or sit down for things like, you know, knee to chest and stuff like that, or leg lifts. But, my, yes. Yes. like my, I get, like, I get oily, and then, I get oily because of just natural how your body works. And then my hair stands up on end, or gets really clumped up and wispy, and that's just a dead sign of, oh yeah, that person hasn't showered in the last, that person looks like they haven't showered in 40 hours, and really for me it's only been like 20. 24. So like I said, it's different from person to person, how often they need to shower to keep up the appearance that they're clean. Me, I need it once a day. Alright, turn back on headphones. Dumb bastards. You can feel it in your stomach when you breathe out. I love how this has heel turned to a conversation about cleanliness, by the way. But I also, you know, I'm also not against taking multiple showers in a day. I'm just the kind of person where I try and get away with bare minimums no matter what it is. Uh, anyway. So anyway, back to Smash Bros. Anyway, back to Smash players. So yeah, Smash Bros. players. If you can't tell the difference between two characters when they have A, different outfits, and B, different haircuts, and C, their weapon they're holding, which is probably the main thing you're focusing on in a in a in a trial of combat. If those three things can't clue you in on which character you're fighting, you might need to get your eyesight checked, man. Before anybody tries to call me out for that, I will say, I will say that I do have troubles following the action in Ultimate. If it's even if it's just a one-on-one, -on -one, I have trouble following the action in Ultimate. So I know I will have issues following Pyro and Mithra, and which one is which. Doesn't matter. It's on me. That's my mistake and my lack of perception at that at this point in life. 
that causes me to not be able to tell which character I'm fighting. Okay, not the design of the character, more or less. My sense of sight gets overwhelmed pretty easily when I'm playing Smash Brothers. Like, can I watch somebody else play Smash Brothers? I go, okay, if I was in a situation to do this, this, and this, and then follow them over here, it's like, I got the whole roadmap out. When I'm playing myself, it's, I get the hit. Where'd they go? All right, they're over here. Where'd they go? All right, they're over here. Just, the game is just busy enough visually where I lose people without trying that hard. So if I have problems determining between Pyra and Mithra, that's on me. Also, give me one second. Let me consume this level up smoothie. Oh, I could have drank that earlier. Oops. Oh, let's see here. Oh, why not? Let's go get another heart. Have a heart. I'm one off max hearts, actually. Which is, the next one's over here. Which costs the same everything. So four more levels so we can have max hearts. Oh my god. That Velcro is giving me a headache. I may have to get the replacement one for this soon. That's the second time now during the stream this has fallen off my hip. Pain, what's going on over here? Okay, they're not important pain pains, I just have to clear them so my mind will stop being distracted. Again, I get distracted easily. I also get visually, essentially, overload really easily. <sighs> anyway. Well, let's see. I don't know if I'll finish in time, but um, I'm not going to play Smash tonight. Like, it's literally just going to be me playing Ring Fit tonight, and that's it. Sorry. I get... <sighs> it happened again, by the way. Um, but yeah, in about 15 minutes, at least from what server maintenance numbers are showing, about 15 minutes, if not currently, Pyra and Mithra will be going live. So, have fun. If I'm not there to join you for it, because being honest, I haven't played Smash in, I haven't played Smash in about a year's time now, almost. Even casually for fun. But for anybody who's looking to do that, you know, have fun with the character. Enjoy the character, have fun with it. And if you can, don't make it about trying to find the meta right away. Play with the character and enjoy it first. Then once you're done having fun with the character, then maybe think about how they'll fit in the meta.
Whew. You know what? I'm gonna hit him with a Russian twist. Oh, I get another one? Nice. Um, and I guess to get some viewer inter interactivity to a point here, you know. Master Hero Soccer Guy asked you guys earlier, but I'm going to repeat his question. Which one do you think you're going to prefer more? Pyra or Mithra? In terms of combat style, that is. In terms of personality, I know you people on the internet. You're all about Mithra. I know you people. <laughs> this is the call out post. Okay, the sound is actually coming through. I had to make sure. Like, I know combat wise, if I play the character characters, I'm probably going to be sticking mostly with Pyra because I like characters who do big, slow, heavy hits. But, I know there are people out there who do like faster hits. Lightning speed, overwhelm the speed. And who knows, maybe you'll be that person that can, that, maybe be that anomaly in the crowd that can flawlessly switch between the two without a second thought. Then again, there's a lot that I have to okay. there's a lot I have to catch up on when it comes to Smash Brothers, if I haven't said it already. I still have to try out Steve. I still have to see I still have to gaze gaze at Sephiroth's as I mean glory, glory. I have to gaze at Sephiroth's glory. As he brings despair. Definitely not staring at his 27 pack. And now of course, I have to try out Pyro Mithra. There we go. Good fight. Of jumps. You know what's the funny thing? Is when I first played through this, I don't think I made it through all that on my first time through this. Because I was so 
out of shape. Despite the fact I was finally, I, I was and finally am, currently under 250 pounds, I was still incredibly out of shape. And that part kicked my butt. But now, that was a pleasant experience that I just had there with that. What the hell is that? What am I chasing? Choose your path. Just go nope, that way. <clears throat> Chase the money. Nah, we're not gonna check it for now. <sighs> but yeah, just also because my mind is a, is a tither and a flutter about Smash, because it's the last thing we talk about. Why do I have calories that way? Mmm, close. Um, oh good, Smack Back, the one that doesn't work. When are they gonna be here to beat it? Oh, it's no, oh, no, it's core crushing. Never mind. This one actually works. So, there's two characters left for Smash Bros. Unless Nintendo's like, hold on, hold on, Sakurai. We need more characters. This is selling gangbusters. We need more characters. But there's two characters left coming to Ultimate. So, I guess. What do you guys what do you guys think? What do you guys think or want? Or both? You can tell me both. Like personally, personally I'm thinking like what I want is I would like Shantae from Shantae and Remu from the Toho series. Those are my two I want. What's probably gonna get is a Pokemon from Gen 8, and we're gonna get a we're gonna get another Zelda rep, and then that's it. So my want is something a little lofty, but reasonable. What's probably going to happen is probably more than likely what's going to happen of more Pokemon, more Zelda. Always temper your expectations. So when it, so when, uh, oh, right. Do the thing. To the, oh, this way. Like when it comes to anything, Temper your expectations. Don't get mad. Don't get mad when something you like when you, something you don't like gets gets picked. Ready? Go! Target your ass. Also the wrong way. Keep it up. Okay. 
Joy-Con's getting finicky. Fantastic. I didn't get the other way. But yeah, tied my old score. What? Okay, I guess I gotta do it again. Alright, Joy-Con. Work with me a little bit, buddy. I'm gonna have to assume 8K. I have to assume 8K is the A ranker better. Joy-Con worked my advantage for a change. Okay, how about 10k instead? That's still just an rank, huh? Well, they piled on the difficulty. I'm glad I did that. What's in this box? Another Citroen. And give me a skill point, please. And let's make some more double up stuff. Uh, double up stuff. Uh, uh. So I've gotten plenty of sesame seeds from these few levels. Are you ready? <sighs> yeah, I don't know how I feel. I don't know if I've got the, uh, not sure if I've got the energy in me right now to go after Drago as well as this level. We'll see. If I do, that means I've completed a whole world in, in one of these streams for a change instead of doing half the world. Wait a squeeze. All right. Let's see, what am I sitting at? Yeah, I may have to push through over an hour, depending on how this goes. Again, depends upon how I feel. I may just go for a long, longer tonight and just knock out a world. Oh, you can Great. skip that. I didn't know you could skip that. Wait. The whole reason why I made smoothies.
Yeah, I keep checking that number so much because, okay. like, this is, like, what I've burned for calories isn't that bad. But, like, from what I'm used to, 400, 400 plus is roughly what I try and shoot for in a day now. Perfect. Whenever I do exercise, unless it's a slow day. Nice. Or a stream day. Fantastic. I think I mentioned that on Twitter. I don't know if it's still in that, in, or hide up on that widget I put on Twitch, but I discussed it on Twitter where, you know, I alternate between light days and heavy days for Ring Fit, excluding whenever I, whenever I stream Ring Fit, whenever I stream Ring Fit for you guys. I alternate between a light workout and a heavy workout, which basically means I alternate between doing a run as well as my as well as the stuff, or, and not. And who knows, maybe it's halfway decent outside now, maybe even on those light days, I'll even go out for a walk now again. Back in the in the quintu uh, quintuple digits again for the first time and first time really wow I dip a little quintuple that's odd you good One of everything, huh? Alright, one of everything. Okay. No need to rush. No rush. No rush down, but we got to this point. <sighs> What I should do is finish off strong with this. You know, I think I will. Because it's just.
just the, it's just that right period of time over there where if I go to the drag out stage, I'm gonna kick my own ass and not be able to walk for the next few days. But if I stop now, it's not gonna be quite enough. And I'd rather go a little bit short on myself rather than be a mess tomorrow and not be able to do my heavy workout day, so to say. Anyway. Cutting all my reps. Again. Yeah. The sensor sucks. <laughs> anyway, pop this open. And head back. And with that, I think we're good to cool down. Whew. So, whew. you know what? The cool down is going to put me over 400. That's fine. Oh no, put two. Three thousand of them since I got the game. Damn. Well, I'm hitting many major milestones now. Tell me, this one's for Mountain Climbers. Put two. Oh. Wait. I did overhead arm twists. Oh, this is for, never mind. This is counting up uh, things I've done in my own uh, in my own time. I forgot about that. All right, let's stretch it out. Let's begin our so, you won't need the ring I'm going to end things here for tonight, you shortly after the stretch out, because stretch the range of I am a movies. mess. Stretch Thanks. your left arm to the side and hold it with your right arm. Uh, cause, just because I'm a mess in your arm and, and I don't think I can really shoulder. push through for much further tonight. Regardless, did anybody have questions for me before I close off stream this evening? Now do the same on the opposite side. Um, do you know Slowly for Saturday? Out, but be careful not to uh, Saturday stream, again, it's a longer stream, but for Saturday stream... Uh, we will probably do more Age of Calamity. 
And I don't know how much more is left of that game, considering how far I am. Put your hands on your lower back, as if supporting it. Gently tilt your upper body backwards, but don't lean back more than is comfortable. Ugh. Again, but stay in a comfortable we'll see what we get. Movement. And depending upon how I feel, bring yourself back slowly. Saturday Spread your feet may also. I may start off with a ring fit session, depending upon how I feel when I wake up on Saturday. Because I want to play more of this mode. Like, yeah, I've got my own custom workout that helps a lot, but this is varied up enough that I like doing this more than my custom setup. Plus, also changing up your workout helps keep you motivated to work out. So, I'll see what that what, come, what we come to on Saturday and how I feel. But, yeah, so, Saturday, most definitely Age of Calamity. Maybe ring, maybe more of a ring fit. Bring your feet together and loosen up. Bend forward while breathing out. Once you come to a stop, breathe in slowly. Hold it like that for a little longer. Bend your knees slightly. And raise your body bit by bit from your lower back until you're upright. Bend your left knee and bring your ankle up behind you. Pull your knee backward and stretch the front of your thigh. Um, yeah, what else? Now do the same on the opposite side. I'm trying to think of what else right Pull now. The top of your foot to stretch your shin muscles as well. I can't think of anything else right at the moment, actually. Bring yourself back slowly, and your stretching is complete. Good job. And I don't. And there's no question. So, as we wrap up things with tip is, yeah, I'm gonna switch out these Joy Cons, but, but hey, in true streaming fashion, at the end of the day. Let's go see who we can raid for the evening. I'm just gonna kill this because I have to switch out my Joy-Cons because they're starting to get weird on me. <sighs> anyway, that done. Let's, uh, and as I was saying, let's see if we can go find for a raid this evening, eh? Now again, you guys get to choose who we raid. Well, that's why it's so quiet. It's only a twenty-seven. It was only a twenty-seven tonight. I usually have it about thirty-two. Um. Yeah. So. Your choices this evening are. Um. Tom Fox is playing Minecraft with most of the Runaway Guys crew. So, you know, John, Emil, Tim, uh, I think there was interest from like, people. well, just to include some people in the family, you know, Family Jewels, Adriana Figueroa, Maryland, Masayanella, you know, just trying to pull names out of hat, people that might be there. I'm not saying they are there, just who, what's in the realm of being there. Um, Scott Falco and Ultranic24 are both streaming uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate. Well, okay, there's a lot of people playing here. Let's just go through everybody's playing Smash Ultimate, eh? Scott Falco, Ultranic24, Botanic Sage, and Kiddo are all playing Smash Ultimate because Pyra and Mithra are out. I can see that they're out because Kiddo's preview screen is of him, of, is of somebody winning as uh, Mithra. Uh, Nakatuli is playing Minecraft. And Barry Blues Plays is playing Sims 4. Ooh, she's on her new PC. Nice. So, I'll run through the list again in a more cohesive manner. Tom Fox is playing Minecraft with, with other friends in the large LP community. Scott Falco is playing Smash Ultimate. Alternate 24 is also playing Smash Ultimate. Botanic Sage is as well playing Smash Ultimate. Nakatuli is playing Minecraft, Kiddo is playing Smash Ultimate, and Barry Blitz, Sims 4. Do you guys have a preference? 
Let me take, let me kill this light. And also I'll bring you down here so I can see it, look at you in the, your beautiful face. Do something with your hair? Looks nice. <laughs> ah, the wonders of streaming and how you can abuse it, right? I'll wait just a minute before I go raid anybody. Uh, if I have my choice, I'm probably just going to go raid Ultranic or Dominic. Again, that is my, that is my choice if I get it. I have no idea if that sound came through. Hopefully it didn't. Right. Looks like there's no preference, so I'm just going to go raid Ultranic tonight. So, go ahead and give him some love if you want a raid message. Uh, got it. There you go. Your raid message can be, is she schmoovin? That'll be your raid message tonight. But anyway, I'll chill for just a minute while I get out of these disgusting clothes. And then I'll probably beat feet while I go enjoy the rest of my night, whether it's recording or hanging out with friends. Who knows? But yeah, you folks have a great night, and I will see you on Saturday. Later, everybody.